So every executive I talk to is obsessed with AI. Earnings calls are packed with AI promises. Tech giants are dumping $5 trillion into AI infrastructure by 2030. But here's what nobody's talking about. Actual AI usage at work just hit 11% of Americans and it's dropping fast. Three years into this AI revolution and people who actually do the work aren't using it. So what's really happening here? Is this the biggest disconnect between executive fantasy and employee reality that we've ever seen? Or are we watching the slow motion collapse of another tech bubble? Let's dive into what the data is actually showing us today and let's go after this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer and here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so I want you to think about this for a second. Big tech is built, is betting $5 trillion that AI will transform how we work. But Consensus Bureau data shows AI adoption just dropped to 11%. The biggest companies, those with over 250 employees, they're seeing the sharpest decline. So the, this isn't just a small gap between hype and reality. This is a total canyon. Today, I'm going to break down exactly what's happening with AI adoption in the workplace, why it matters, and what this means for the future of business technology, especially as we see so much money getting dumped into this. All right, let's dive into some of these articles here. So investors expected AI use to soar, but that's not happening. Recent surveys point to flatlining business adoption. So on November 20th, American Statistics released the, sur the re results of a survey buried in the data as a trend with implications for trillions of dollars of spending. Researchers of the Consensus Bureau asked firms if they used artificial intelligence in producing goods and service in the past two weeks. Recently, we estimate the employee-weighted share of American usage AI at work has fallen by a percentage point and now sits at 11%. Now, I was going to show you the charts, but apparently the economist wants to actually block me. Um, adoption has fallen sharply at the largest businesses, those employees with over 250 people. Three years in a generative AI wave, demand for technology looks surprisingly flimsy. Now, let's jump over to futurism because they're probably not going to block us here. Just throw a bunch of ads at us. So after three years of unprecedented tech spending and nonstop hype, the demand for AI in the workplace seems to be drying up fast. Referencing data from a recent consensus bureau, The Economist estimates that the percentage of Americans using AI to produce goods and services at large companies range in at, at, range in at a modest 11% in October. So this isn't like that old, folks. Like This isn't reaching back through two or three years. So the latest data, survey data. Now, it's not just that the figure is a bit soggy for the supp a supposedly world-changing technology, but that it's suddenly moving in the wrong direction. The financial publications, and I'm going to show you some of these graphs here, uh, note that the percentage is actually down from 12% in the prior survey conducted two weeks prior. So they're seeing a drop that quickly. So looking at the big picture doesn't make it any look prettier. Back in March, the number of businesses with 100 to 249 employees that reported not using AI with it in the last two weeks stood at 74 percent the survey results show the steady uptick to no results over the past few months culminating in a dreadful 81.4 percent of the latest poll for corporations with over 250 employees meanwhile the no reports have crept up to 68.6 percent up from last year's 62 percent so the data is nothing if not a major red flag for the industry was expected to spend five trillion dollars on AI infrastructure. Ooh, it did not like me clicking on that. Unfortunately for the tech industry, enterprise AI customers aren't picking up the slack. So see, a lot of what's happened here from the CISOs I've talked to is these are guys are getting blocked because there's such a worry about people putting uh, sensitive customer data into this. So, and I'm gonna, we're here at Startup Pack, we're gonna bring a pretty interesting solution to this. Stay with me, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, make sure you leave a comment because we're gonna be revealing this here very, very soon. Now, one economist at Stanford who tracks the use of generative AI at work found a major drop in usage month to month. Through 46% of respondents reported using the tech in June, that number has fallen to 37% by September. That's a huge drop. Another estimate by fintech firm Ramp found that AI use at American corporations went through the roof earlier in 2025 to around 40%, but has since plateaued. Um, so we're seeing a lot of this over and over again. Let's jump to another article here. AI adoption rate for large firms continues to trend down. U.S. Census Bureau, so they're, they're citing this one here, but they're going to show us some good graphs here, right? So largest enterprises, 250 plus, peaked in July at 13%, then dropped to 11%. The, ad the adoption of every firm category, uh, firm size category declined since July, except the smallest with one to four employees. So little entrepreneurs are still using this like crazy, while the big firms are starting to, to peter off or tank down. So we can definitely see um, 
Let's see if we can get this chart to open up here. Um, and we can see uh, how, how we're starting to see this. So I'm dragging this over here to the screen. So you can see now um, that we're seeing firm sizes. Uh, they definitely peaked in, uh, you know, around July and then have since been trending down in every category except for smaller firms are still trending up just slightly. So, you know, we're definitely seeing that usage has definitely started to plateau, if not fall off overall. Uh, so I'm gonna do a couple of other ones here and then I'll get into some other details um, if my browser wants to cooperate. All right. Um, Ad adoption at work has fallen and now sits at 11% of Americans. Uh, why it matters. Big tech companies spend $5 trillion on AI infrastructure through 2030. To make those investments worthwhile, they need around $650 billion a year in AI revenues, up from $50 billion today. JP Morgan estimates business must provide most of that revenue. But executives are seeing a disappointing return. A Deloitte poll found 45% reported, uh, report reported returns below expectations with only 10% exceeding them. Goldman Sachs tracked the index of companies with the largest potential earnings to change from AI adoption, including uh, a bunch of big names. The index recently started trailing the market. So this particular author's take, Hedgie, says three years into AI wave and adoption is going backwards. Executives keep talking about it on earnings call, but the people actually doing the work aren't using it. One survey found 80% of executives use AI, but only 50% of managers and 27% of employees do. The gap tells you everything. Maybe middle managers set up AI projects to make the boss happy, then quietly let them die. Or maybe people tried it and it just doesn't work well enough to bother with. We've seen the evidence. Amazon employees call it slop. Microsoft's AI code breaking windows. Academic reviews with made-up citations. Companies are spending toward toward $5 trillion building infrastructure that needs $650 billion in only revenue. Now, see, what's happening here is we're not getting specific enough AI usage. And that's one of the things that we're working on here at Startup Pack that I'm really excited. And we've made a lot of our clients really happy as we've built very specific, niche down, narrowed, uh, you know, use cases into that. So we're, we're definitely trying to work on that here. Now, Microsoft at the big top end, Microsoft drops AI sales targets in half after salespeople miss their quotas. So let's jump over to this article here because I've actually got the exact article. So report Microsoft declared the era of the era of AI agents in May, but enterprise customers aren't buying. So Microsoft has lowered sales growth targets for AI agent products after many salespeople missed their quotas in the fiscal year in June, according to reports Wednesday from the information. The informa the adjustment is reportedly unusual for Microsoft, and it comes after the company missed a number of ambitious sales goals for its AI offerings. AI agents are specialized implementations of AI language models designed to perform multi-step tasks autonomously rather than simply responding to simple prompts. So-called agents features have been central to Microsoft's 2025 sales pitch. AI uh, at its building co build conference in May, the company declared it's entered the quote, the era of AI agents. Now, what they're seeing along with this is according to the information, one U.S. Azure sales unit set quotas for salespeople to increase customer spending on a product called Foundry, which helps com customers develop AI applications by 50%. Less than a fifth of salespeople in that unit met their Foundry sales growth targets. In July, Microsoft lowered those targets to roughly 25% growth. Now, I don't know if this is just kind of grabbing the headlines because, you know, I like to read past the headlines here a bit to just say maybe they were being a little ambitious and figuring that people wouldn't quite adopt this as early as they thought. Um, and it says the sales figures suggest enterprises aren't yet willing to pay premium prices for these AI tools. Microsoft Copilot sells faced a brand preference challenge. Earlier this year, Bloomberg reported that Microsoft salespeople were having trouble selling Copilot to enterprises because many employees prefer ChatGPT instead. I, most developers I know don't want to touch Copilot with a 10 foot pole. Uh, everybody I know is either using Gemini or Claude for coding at this point, uh, really are the big winners here. Now, you know, this is what's been really interesting here. And we're starting to see that according to the Census Bureau, we're seeing this huge drop, right? So we're seeing drops uh, and we're seeing with some drops tracking from 46 to 37 percent just in a couple of months. Another study, 12 percent uh, down, you know, from 12 percent down to 11 percent in just a couple of weeks. So the sharpest drop in AI adoption is happening at the largest businesses employing over 250 people. 
These are the companies with the biggest budgets, the biggest tech teams, and the most resources to make AI work. So if these are the ones that are starting to drop, and if anyone could crack the code at workplace AI, it would be these massive organizations with deep pockets. Instead, they're the ones pulling back the fastest. That should tell you something. Small businesses never really adopt AI at high rates to begin with, but now uh, even the giants are starting to retreat. So here's the kicker. 87% of executives say they're using AI, but only 57% of managers and just 27% of employees say they're using it. So that gap isn't just a difference in adoption rate. It's a complete disconnect about what's happening inside the organization. Either way, when leadership and staff ex exists in totally different realities about technology adoption, you've got a serious problem. Now, as always, make sure you leave a comment down below because I love to get comments from you guys, love to connect with you. Make sure you leave me a comment because I read all of them personally. Now, to make these investments pay off, you know, we're, and again, what we're talking about is a $5 trillion spend on AI infrastructure through 2030. So to make those investments pay off, they, we, companies need to generate around $650 billion per year in AI revenue through 2030. That's a ton. Right now, AI revenue is sitting roughly around 50 billion annually. So that's going to have to be 13 times over the next like four years. Now, JP Morgan estimates that businesses need to provide most of that revenue growth, not the consumers. Now, Microsoft had to cut their AI sales targets as we were talking about here, right? When Microsoft, one of the biggest AI believers on the planet, has to slash their own targets by 50%, you know the reality check is hitting really hard. Now, Amazon employees aren't being sub subtle about their AI tools. They're straight up calling the output AI slop. Microsoft AI code literally broke Windows system in a production environment. Academic reviews are showing up with completely made up citations that AI confidently presented as real. Court cases are getting or having uh, AI slop sneak into it where uh, court cases are being cited that are completely fictitious. So when your own employees are publicly mocking your AI initiatives, that's not an adoption problem, that's a quality problem. So AI assistants on the market can still make catastrophic mistakes and then just run with them like there's nothing wrong. These aren't small errors in formatting your style. We're talking about fundamental mistakes in facts, logics, and reasonings. You can't build reliable business process on a foundation that randomly invents information and presents it as truth. Now, corporate spending on AI subscriptions hit 40% of surveyed companies earlier this year. But actual work adoption of generative AI tools daily sit around 10%. So that's 10%, folks. That's really low. So corporate spending on AI subscriptions hits 40% of surveyed comp companies earlier this year, but actual worker adoption is sitting around 10%. That means companies are paying for expensive AI tools that 90% of their workforce aren't using regularly. Now, LLM adoption among workers is hovering right around 20%. Now, it's better than daily uh, usage, but still, it's terrible for the investment level. Only 5% of companies are actually using AI to produce their core goods and their services. So the gap between what companies are spending and what employees are actually using is huge, and this is only getting worse. Now, there's a $5 trillion in infrastructure spend assumed that's a, that usage and adoption will keep climbing forever. But the data shows that adoption is starting to peak, and it peaked around mid-2024 and has been declining since. Companies are building massive data center, buying thousands of GPUs, and expounding the cloud capacity. But those projections assume AI usage would follow on an exponential growth curve. Instead, we're seeing a curve that went up, flattened out, and now trending down. And at some point, the gap between massive infrastructure capacity and actual demands becomes impossible to ignore to justify to shareholders. So enterprise customers that Microsoft and others are targeting aren't buying the AI agent pitch. They're asking the hard questions about reliability, security, compliance, and actual ROI. That's part of the reason why what you've seen here that I've been predicting for a while is we're going to see AI not go away. We're going to see the adoption start to niche down. You're going to find specific AI use tools instead of general AI or AGI that people think we're going to be getting to. So enterprise adoption was supposed to be where AI finally proved its value, but instead we're just starting to see some of these niche down AI start to emerge. So we're watching the classic pattern where hype peaks way before the technology is actually ready for the prime. 
Executives bought into the vision based on impressive demos and carefully curated success stories. After a lot of years of software development, I've seen this exact pattern with every overhyped technology. The people actually doing the work have tried AI and decided it's not worth the hassle for most tasks. In some point, the disconnect between what executives say on earning calls and what employees actually do becomes impossible to sustain. Now, curious to hear what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Love to have a great conversation. So leave a comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. So if we can help you, make sure you reach out. Check out StartupPack.com and here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.